Okay, this is part 8. This is the artificial intelligence for the basic uh, enemy. And the reason it took so long is because I worked really hard on this to make sure it worked good, worked uh, efficiently, and it still doesn't work good enough. But it's a lot better than what it was. And uh, it's pretty accurate. Uh, there's only one thing I dislike about it, and it's still, other than that, it's great. So we're going to need two sprites. A bullet sprite, which I just did a 3x3 three three square in the exact middle of the 32x32 uh, 30 32 and deleted the four corners so it looked a little rounded. Now we have a bullet. That's good enough size, by the way, to be seen. Uh, we also have this sprite. I just made a basic spaceship that looked like a fighter. Uh, I did a little bit smaller than 32 because this is just going to be a little... Uh, annoying enemy it's not exactly the smartest but it does what it does and if you hit it it's gonna start attacking you so we'll leave it at that after you get those two sprites we need two more enemies uh, enemy underscore nat which is what I named my ship and bullet underscore enemy now on bullet underscore enemy we only need two events create and we have a very long uh, th line of code that includes I think three different functions uh, it starts off with move underscore towards underscore point and this just moves linearly to an area and it won't stop for anything you won't try to go around there it'll just go it'll just beeline it straight towards the place and here's the place so in parentheses we need to put instance underscore nearest and then in parentheses self dot x comma self dot y comma ship underscore worker and parentheses dot x so now it's getting the x from the function find the nearest object ship underscore worker so in this case it's moving towards the worker um, later we're gonna have a variable that's going to decide where it's heading based on what ship hit it um, and it'll go after that kind of ship and the closest one of that kind. Now this means you can bring another ship of that kind in its way and it'll be fine, etc. And it'll just stop shooting at the close, the other one. Then comma, instance, underscore, nearest, in parentheses, self dot x, comma, self dot y, comma, ship, underscore, worker, parentheses, dot y. So, it's the same thing in the parentheses we just have that instance underscore nearest and then in parentheses self dot x comma self dot y comma ship underscore worker parentheses except we have dot x then we have comma the same line the same function dot y comma eight which is the speed it's going to be going and that last parentheses and semicolon and it's going to beeline it straight towards the closest worker and when we're outside the room, we have instance underscore destroy. So it just destroys itself once it's outside the room. Now we have the harder one, uh, the actual ship itself. On create, we have a couple of things. Direction equals random underscore range in parentheses 0, 360, parentheses, semicolon. So what this does is it sets a direction to anywhere in a circle where it's facing and the image angle equals direction, which is our next next line of code, which just says that uh, our image is angled in the way we're facing. Speed is equal to three, which just says we're moving in three pixels per step in that direction. Alarm zero equals twenty. Uh, alarm zero, how we write it, remember it's alarm in brackets zero, and then we have attack equals zero. Um, that's very important. Or in, because on our alarm we have two main uh, subroutines, I guess you could say, two main blocks of code. If attack equals zero, and attack if attack equals one. So if attack equals one, open curly bracket. Then we have direction equals random underscore range, and then in parentheses we need to put image underscore angle minus 45, comma image underscore angle plus 45, and parentheses semicolon. The reason why is because when you have a random range, you need two variables, the minimum a number you want and the maximum number you want. So we're saying that the minimum number is going to be minus 45 degrees and the maximum number is going to be plus 45 degrees. So you're only rotating a maximum of 90, uh, 45 degrees either way and 90 degrees of total bandwidth. 
so that way it doesn't look so chaotic and jerking around as it's flying randomly and then we have image underscore angle equals direction because we're changing direction I didn't want to use direction as the variables so we used image angle and now we set the image angle to the new direction speed equals 2 because we wanted to just slow down the ship it went a little haywire at 3 and I was just too lazy to switch the 3 to a 2 go right ahead if you want to change the speed obviously how you want to and then alarm in bracket 0 equals 20 uh, that just resets the whole process now we have if attack equals 1. Uh, then we have self.speed equals 0. I haven't been doing self.speed. I've just been doing speed. I don't know why I haven't been doing self.speed. I'm just going to keep it with speed. Speed equals 0. Then we have image underscore angle equals point underscore direction. Then parentheses self.x comma self.y comma instance underscore nearest parentheses self dot x comma self dot y comma ship underscore worker dot x now what this is basically saying is image angle equals point direction now the first if you remember from previous videos the first set of coordinates is where you're rotating around we're rotating around uh, this the it, the center point so we'd put self dot x comma self dot y then we have that same long function before instance underscore nearest then parentheses self dot x comma self dot y comma ship worker dot x so we're getting the x of this function then we have instance underscore nearest and the same exact function except dot y we're gonna get that so that function is getting the nearest worker again and we're gonna face towards that worker we're not gonna move we're just gonna face towards that worker and we're gonna go uh, if you want to set speed to one go right ahead um, then we have if instance number in parentheses bullet underscore enemy is less than four open curly bracket instance underscore create then parentheses self dot x comma self dot y comma bullet underscore enemy and parentheses semicolon and curly bracket and what this does is if there's less than four bullets on the field on the thing of play then it creates one and it goes away and we already did the bullet we're all set now I think I'm running out of time, so I'm going to stop it here and make this a two-parter. So thanks for watching. Please rate, please comment, and the second one should be up at the exact same time as this one.